in this video today, I'm really just want to give you guys some advice. I know I always give advice, tips, tricks, all that when it comes to growing the brand. But like this video is just straight to people that's either starting a brand, already have a brand, one year, two year in, whatever the case may be. Because I'm seeing a growing trend with a lot of brand owners. And I just want to give advice because we're in the middle of the year right now. And it's almost Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be almost time to start planning and thinking for Black Friday. So I just want to give some advice. Listen, guys. One thing I want y'all to understand is in life, there's going to be a lot of things that you cannot control. Like, there's going to be so many things that you can't control. Like, I see so many people be like, yo, how I make 10 bands on my brand? Or like, yo, I did a drop and it didn't go as I expected it to. And I'm like, yo, that's tough. Like, what advice do you got for me? And I'd be like, yo, just keep working, stay consistent. And someone might say like, yo, bro, like that advice is so generic. That's not real advice, bro. That's easy for you to say because you're in a great position. And I'm looking at them, I'm like, that's true. But what I'm saying can also be true too. Two things could be true at once. Like, yo, bro, like the simplest advice is sometimes like the best advice. Like the best advice I ever got in life, somebody told me, consistency is the only cheat code and i was like bro what the what the like what bro like and then i started to sit and think like yo being consistent and i started to see like being consistent really do help like it matters you gotta be consistent showing up every day you can't just be talented you gotta work every day treat it like a nine to five and and then my other part to that would be is you only can control what you can control. Like, focus on the things that you can control. Like, for instance, I can't control how many people come on the site. I can't control how many people place an order. I can't control if we sell out or not. I can't control, like, if people like the item or not. I can't control what the drop does. Even though it looks like we're controlling it, we really can't. Like, I'm not putting the gun to somebody's health head and being like, yo, buy this right now or else. Like, that's not what's going on. The things that you can't control as a brand owner is what you learn every day. It's how much you work towards the brand. It's how much you're dropping or how much you're promoting. You can control those things. Like, how many TikToks did you put out? How many reels did you put out? How many influencers did you reach out to? How many designs did you make? Like, you have to start making a list of things that you can control and do those things. Focus on those things and keep on working on those things every day, every week. Like, you have to treat it like a job and not just a passion. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Yes, it's times where, like, you know what I'm saying, everything is good. And there's also times where a lot of things don't be going the right way. Like, you guys saw that we shot Nino Paid, right? Y'all saw that video. If you're on my YouTube, if you haven't, go ahead and look at that video. Like, we shot him for a campaign. It was fire. But... Nina wasn't the person that we wanted to shoot. We wanted to shoot a way bigger person that has like a million plus followers on Instagram and we got the go ahead, but the shoot just didn't go through. Like we couldn't control if we could shoot that person or not. We really wanted to shoot that person, but we couldn't control that. But like focusing on things that we could control was like, yo, let's find somebody really quick. So I got on my Instagram, I'm like, yo, do anybody know anybody famous they can connect us with? And if you connect this with this person, I'll pay you. And that's what I did. I did that with my close friends on Instagram. And that's what I did. And then somebody was like, yo, I'm cool with Nino. Would that work? And I'm like, yeah, that'll work. And boom, we did the Nino shoot. You feel me? Like, we focused on the things we could control. Even with that, if you saw the video, we drove to D.C. to shoot Nino. It was like a three, four-hour drive because Nino wasn't going to be in Atlanta for another two weeks. So we did what we could control. I can control where Nino was, but I could control like us going to Nino and shooting Nino and getting him great pictures. We even hired a photographer. We shot it ourselves. KP shot it. You know what I'm saying? That way we could go home and edit it. We was already editing photos on the way on the drive back. By the time we got back, it took us like four hours to finish the edits. You know what I'm saying? Drawings and all. Like you have to focus on the things that you can control when it comes to anything in life, not just a clothing brand, but like and specifically with people that watch my channel and focusing on clothing brands, it's like, I see it time and time again. People that's first year, like, yo, it's not working out. I'm trying, I'm working. What do I got to do? Like, I need to be around y'all. And it's no, you don't need anybody. You just need yourself and you need time. Because nine times out of 10, anybody that's better than you in this space, they got two things over you. Two things over you is either time or consistency. 
And what I mean by time is like, yo, me, I've been in this shit for seven years plus. I have time over you. Of course the drops are going to be bigger. Of course the SMS is going to be big. You feel me? Like, of course those things are going to happen. And then, like, I stay consistent every day, every week. Some drops, even this year to this year, don't do that well compared to our standards. Everybody's standards is different. Even what we're doing right now is not comparing what we I really want for us. Like, we really want to be bigger, but I'm focusing on the things that I can control, like adding more products to the drop, making sure customers receive the stuff quicker. I'm focusing on all those things right there. I'm not even focusing on, like, what somebody else is doing or how big their drops is doing. It's just like, yo, what can we do right now in the moment to get more eyes on our brand and our drops? And one of those things is like doing a collab. We did a collab with the homie. It did really well. We dropped a really great hoodie and it's going crazy. Now the next thing we're focusing on is like, yo, how can we have a really big Black Friday? So I'm saying all these things is like, I'm focusing on what I can control, not what I want to happen. You hear me? I'm focusing on what I can control, not what I want to happen. And that's the key thing I want all brand owners to start doing, bro. Like, I really need y'all to start doing that. And then y'all need to understand, because I see this happen a lot too. Like, you might do, like, let's say you have, like, a 50-piece drop and you sell out, sell 35 pieces. Someone will beat themselves up so bad. Or let's say y'all post a reel and only get like a thousand views or 500 views. I need y'all to understand small things add up. Small things add up over time. Like one day it might be 500 views. The next day it might be like, you know what I'm saying? 100K views like down the line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Small things add up. When I first came out, bro, I had one follower like everybody else. Even on this YouTube journey that I'm on right now, like I remember the YouTube only having 90 subs on day one. And I just kept on going and kept on going. It's not where I want it to be, but that's on me because I'm not as consistent enough as I need to be on the YouTube. But I'm trying. I'm focusing on what I can control. I'm focusing on the stuff building up and adding up. And more and more, when I go out into the world, I meet people that says, y'all watched your YouTube, this helped me. I've even had the Postscript CEO email me saying like yo i love what you're doing on youtube about our product and i was like wow that's fire that was enough for me you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna keep on going and focusing on the things i could control because you never know where this might take you you never know where it might happen but beating yourself up out of it or being negative about a situation doesn't help anything like i really don't like when somebody's super negative about a situation or saying negative things because like you being negative doesn't help anything. Like, you pointing out doesn't help anything. You being like, yo, that drop went wrong. It didn't work out. Like, I'm not rocking with clothes doesn't help anything. But you need to put reps up and learn. Not enough people are learning. Everybody's focusing on how much they can earn. And nobody's focusing on, like, how much I can learn. You feel me? Like, everybody needs to get back in love with learning. I know school is very unpopular. I know people hate college. I know people hate high school. I know all of our teachers told us we ain't going to be nothing. I know. <laughs> but you need to fall in love with learning. Something that you like or you care about, you need to geek out about it. You got ChatGPT. You got Google. You got YouTube. You got three search major engines right there where you can learn about a specific topic. Whether it be clothing or whether it be designing your clothes or whether it be manufacturing, or whether it be learning about fabric, or whether it be learn about learning about SMS marketing or email marketing, you need to geek out about it. You need to love to learn it. Everybody just care about the earning. Like, everybody just care about the money they make. Like, I do so many videos on SMS marketing because I love PostScript as a product. I love that software as a service. I love it as a product. I love geeking out about the segments and figuring different ways to message people and just to see if they convert or not, just to see if they click. Like, yeah, the money is just a, a added plus for me at this point, but it's just like, yo, what ways can we interact with the customers more? Let's say Instagram went down today and we got all these SMS subscribers. Like, how can I reach out to those people more just for it to like work out for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing that I be focusing on. I geek out over that. And then I geek out over Shopify. Like, for the longest, like, for the longest, I was like, 
I'm still am in love with Shopify, but it was just like, yo, like this is a really cool product. This is a really cool software. You know what I'm saying? And now everybody loves it. There's people making millions with Shopify every month, every year, you know? So we have to get back to like loving to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I get it. School really pushed us away from it because we learned a whole bunch of things that we can't use. But this is not school no more. This is the real life. And somebody might be watching this and you might be in school, but you soon will be in real life, my guy. And you have to go out there and love to learn what you're trying to work on and what you're trying to do. I see far too many people trying to start clothing brands and they don't buy clothes themselves or they don't know nothing about no clothes. Now, it's, it's very annoying because it's like, how are you trying to sell to me and you don't even know nothing about no clothes? Like, I study clothes. Like, I understand proportions. I understand color theory. I didn't just wake up one day and knew that. I fell in love with learning about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the stores feeling the fabrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand the difference between poly and cotton. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't understand that. So, like, that's my real key takeaway on this, guys. Like, you have to, A, love to learn what you're doing. B, focusing on what you control. And C, realize that small things add up over time. Like, small wins add up over time. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, they add up over time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just come out the gate and start going crazy. And if you do, shout out to you. But for the vast majority of us, that's not the case. But you got to stay in it. You got to stick with it. You got to keep on pushing through. Like, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Time is going to keep moving. It's no time to be negative. It's no time to sit down and wait for anybody. Like, you have to keep moving. You have to, bro. Like, you have to if you want to succeed in this. And don't focus on what's not working now. Focus on what could be and keep pushing through, bro. You will learn in that process, like, okay, this didn't work. I need to do this. Okay, like, they're doing it like this. Maybe I should do it like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Just for a little bit and see if that works for me. Oh, that didn't work for me? Let me just keep on pushing through and do the things that do work for me. You feel me? Like, that's what you got to do. Like, literally, stop wasting time and get to it, bro.